what's up youtube your girl is back with a another video hello to all my new subscribers and hey to all my old stubbies i really appreciate all you guys new and old and all the continued support that you guys have showed me so without any further ado we're gonna get into this strawberry crunch cupcake so this strawberry crumble y'all it really took me back to elementary school where you used to get the strawberry crunch ice cream bar when i tell you so good super simple and um is a very um customer fave like my customers love these strawberry crunch cupcakes it's super simple very beginner friendly and let's not forget delicious so without any further ado let's get into how to create the strawberry crunch cupcakes so we're going to start off with making a crunch you're going to need a whole stick of butter you're going to need a packet of vanilla instant pudding and then a packet of strawberry gelatin. You're gonna need some all purpose flour. And you're also gonna need a half of cup measuring cup. So you're gonna take two separate bowls and you're going to put the strawberry jello into one and then the vanilla pudding into a other. And then you're gonna add a half a cup of flour to each bowl. And then you're gonna split your butter in half. So you're gonna add, and it has to be softened. I don't remember, I don't say that earlier. So half a stick of the butter will go into the strawberry, half the stick will go into the vanilla. And then with a fork, um, the spoon really doesn't do it for me. So with the fork, you're gonna just go ahead and incorporate this as best as possible. I like to do it by hand, and after about five minutes, y'all, it do take a while. Um, this is what your strawberry will look like when it's done so we'll start working on the vanilla and you're just going to do the same process it probably takes maybe about three to four minutes to get it well incorporated but the color and the texture will change it'll feel like sand once you've reached um the right texture so you are going to take both your strawberry crumble and you're going to take your vanilla and look at the texture it literally is just like sand and you're going to place it on a parchment paper on a cookie sheet lined with parchment paper so um you want to use the parchment paper because you it burns really really easy and you don't want it to burn on your cookie sheet so you're going to mash it just like so together and it doesn't have to be like it's literally as messy or as neat as you want it to be if you want to keep it separated cool if you want to mash it together we can do that too. I like putting it together because that's how the ice cream is, y'all. It's not separated with strawberry on one side and vanilla on the other. So once you're done incorporating, you're gonna bake on 350, literally for four to five minutes, y'all. It will burn super easy. So do not forget that this is in the oven. So after four to five minutes, as you can see that you have to kind of like break it up because it does form together. That's all it takes is four to five minutes. And then you just go ahead and take your spatula or whatever you have available, spoon, fork, whatever it is, and you're gonna break it up. And then you're going to set it aside and you're gonna let it cool. So as you can see, how easy that was to get that strawberry crumble. And you can use that for um, strawberries as well. So I have here Duncan Hines Strawberry Supreme Cake Mix. I personally like Duncan Hines better. Um, Pillsbury is also good. So you're just gonna follow directions on the back of whichever cake box um, that you have. So obviously, you know, you add your mix and then you go in, you add all three of your eggs, your water, and your oil and then we're gonna mix that together like so guys please follow the instructions on the box don't swap out oil for butter and water for milk like whatever the box says to do do just that okay so you want to make sure that your cake mix is well combined and then we have our cupcake liner that we're just gonna go ahead and fill each cupcake about three-fourths of the way So while that is in the oven, it's on 350 for about 11 minutes. We're gonna get started on our frosting. So I personally feel like cream cheese frosting pairs really, really well with the strawberry crunch cupcake. So I started off with two sticks of butter in an eight ounce package of cream cheese and all the ingredients will be listed in the description box below. So you wanna beat um, the cream cheese in the butter until it is light, airy, and fluffy. And it looks just like this. 
and then you're going to add in your powdered sugar and then this is what it looked like once it's done beating sorry i didn't get that on camera so it's been about 11 to 12 minutes our cupcakes are done and you always test the cupcakes by just pressing on it gently and if it bounces back then it's done so in a piping bag using the round tip i have our cream cheese frosting i have our crumble book i like to leave some of the crumble pieces a little bit bigger because people enjoy that and then for garnish a fresh garnish um i have fresh strawberries that i washed and cut into halves off of camera so we are just going to pipe um a very simple traditional style design on our cupcakes um, i've been baking for a while so your cupcakes may or may not you know be piped well there is no right or wrong way to pipe because these are your cupcakes and we do what we want to do so after you pipe each cupcake with your cream cheese frosting you're going to go over it and sprinkle some of that strawberry um, crumble on top now you won't be able to scoop a whole if you want to dip your cupcake in the crumble um, just to get a little bit more on it but I, I like to sprinkle I don't enjoy putting too too much on it because you don't want the crunch to overflower, overpower the fluffiness of the cupcake. So once you have your desired amount of crunch on top of each cupcake, you are going to garnish with fresh strawberries and boom, you guys. That simple, very short, straightforward, very to the point. I'm telling you guys, you will not regret trying this recipe. Please let me know how your cupcakes turn out down below in the comments. And as I always do, thank you guys for watching and tuning in to another video. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.